And our next motion design principle is masking. Now this one's pretty fun to work with. It's actually one of my favorite. I like using it and you'll see me use it in some projects as well. So let's get right into what masking actually is. Masking helps create continuity of an object or a group when its use is determined by which part of the object or group is seen or hidden. So that may sound pretty complex, but let me show you some examples. Masking is essentially like the strategic revealing and concealing of parts of a UI element. If we see how in this slider, people are using their brand over here to, you know, create this revealing effect on these people's faces. But this is purely just for brand awareness. And it's a pretty cool little animation that they have here sliding in with that kind of like parallax effect. But more importantly, when like a user clicks on a card, creating that connection between what's clicked, uh, especially like an image and the next screen really helps the user kind of make the connection and follow through. You saw this as one of the uh, examples on the very first screen when I introduced what we were going to talk about emotion design principles, but this is where I see it a lot. I see it when there is a card, like I said, and it basically becomes like the main introduction or main part of the next screen. And as you can tell, this interaction is incredibly seamless and the user absolutely knows what's happening. They know they're in this current like playlist or album, but it's not abrupt at all. It just smoothly flows right in there. And as you can see, like some other motion design principles that we talked about, like easing is happening here. We're seeing even some parenting and we're seeing some offset and delay when it comes to the way certain elements are reacting once we interface with them. You know, it really works well with uh, detailed visuals like photographs and illustrations. Those are the kind of the ideal candidates to use for masking. And from a usability perspective, like I mentioned before, you know, designers can really implement masking to show users that they are progressing through a series of like actual interactions. And this really helps, you know, create like a continuous and seamless user experience.